findings by the Uganda Media Women Association in partnership with the Canada Fund for Local Initiatives have revealed that gender gaps still persist as regards the portrayal of women both as news sources and news subjects. The study is part of the seven-month Gender Responsive NEFS project which intends to enhance women's visibility and portrayal in the media content and programming in Uganda. The study team, led by the WUMO Executive Director Margaret Senta Masagazi, found out that 28% of women were reportedly news sources and subjects in the year 2022, as opposed to 72% of their male counterparts during the same period. Regarding talk shows, only 30% women were portrayed as opposed to their male counterparts at 70%. And we are also calling upon or trying to work with the Minister of Information to participate in the reform of the media laws so that they can become gender responsive. Also in the international frameworks that we have, and very particular on the international conventions, we have the Beijing platform of 1995 that calls upon the media to have equal and enhance or be an enabler through the platforms that we serve on for next the survey also revealed that only Makere University and Uganda Christian University had incorporated running gender media responsive course units in their training, despite the fact that there are over 50 media training institutions in the country. We can become gender responsive because if the policies and programs and also the curriculum become responsive to the needs of everybody, not be here. The Uganda Media Women Association Woman was established way back in 1983 to advocate for increased women voices in the media as a way of pursuing for their rights. Edward Kanjuko Chisasi, Kawempe Division for UBC News.